Hey, 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 you too. How is it going? We are going to do a quick little overview of the new firmware updates with the Behringer and M or Midas series uh, uh, M32 firmwares, uh, the 4.0 and 4.01. Uh, the coolest feature is probably the one to one thing that everybody's obviously been talking about. Uh, there has been a little bit of confusion on how to implement it, though. Uh, some people it can kind of throw off guard a little bit at first because some of the things that it does and how it works is not exactly clear. Um, obviously, if you hit the routing tab, you're going to be granted with this view here. Um, you can see that I've already kind of set something up. You have to select user, obviously, to get user or one-to-one -one patching available. I'm going to try to show you this in under five minutes on how to do it, though. So in order to actually get to the user tab to make those one-to-one -one changes, you have to scroll all the way to the right, of course, to the user tab. Then you will see you have user input, and then you have your input signal. Uh, the easy way to think of this, they should have just labeled this channel. It would have been so much easier if they had done, had done that. Uh, it says N8 or N19, 17, whatever. That is the physical channel that you are going to enact your one-to-one -one change with. This is the source to that channel. So we're going to mess with channel 12 today. Um, so to do that, I'm going to get back where I need it to be. There we go, 12. So we want channel 12 to be local 27. We're going to make an input 27. Great, cool. We go down to channel, hey, channel 12 isn't 27 like it's supposed to be at all. What's going on there, right? Select the channel, go to config view, check out the source. You'll notice that channel 12 is sourced to be 20. I don't know why it did that, but when I selected user inputs for this particular setting, it made channel 9 through 16, respectively, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, etc., etc. Um, I don't know why it did that, but the way to fix that is obviously to then go input 12 or source 12, excuse me, not, there you go, 27. So now when we go to channel 12, it will be input 27 like it's supposed to be. So if we go to 17, we'll select it, we'll go to the config view, and we'll see that it's at 19. If we select 11 like it's supposed to be, you'll still see that it shows as off. That's because we haven't made any changes to it yet. So go to routing. You'll see here that 11 is nothing. Let's make it 24. Now, when we go to channel 11, it will be 24. This is the part that gets people off guard is that they don't check the source of the channel. It has to be whatever channel you actually want it to be. So my suggestion is to make this work very easily is to make all of these one-to-one -one. if you do user for everything which i think you should uh then make sure that all of your channels are set to be one two three four five six seven eight and nine through sixteen seventeen through twenty four etc etc make it easy on yourself and make sure that all of these are configured to be the actual channel that they are so channel nine would be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all the way down the list. That way, you never have to do any more changes to the actual channel itself in terms of patching. You can do it all from the routing tab. Because now you can make channel input number 11 say anything you want it to be. Let's make it 21. Now, when you go down to here, uh, channel 11 will be 21, like you just changed. So that makes it a whole lot easier. That way you can you only have to think of this as being the channel and then that being the source for that channel. It just saves you from having to go into the channel and do all kinds of weird routing stuff. You don't have to think of like, oh, I want number 11 to be yada, yada, yada. And then I select the config view and then I go over here and I want it to be input 16 or you know, whatever. You don't have to do it from the channel, although you could, but it's a hell of a lot easier to just do it from the routing tab. And I'm going to show you why. I'm probably going to break over the five minute mark because I've only got about eh, 20 seconds left. Okay, channel 11 is input 21 currently. I selected the thing and I make channel 11 number 17. 17 doesn't have anything routed to it, so if we go here, we'll notice it says off. That's because there's nothing on 17. So, eh, darn it. 
So we're going to go to here to 17. We see 17. Uh, let's make it 18. So local in 18. Now if we go down here, it will be 18. But yes, you can go to here and select any of the available channels that are already set up over there in the routing tab. But now when you go to 17 here, you're not thinking of 17 as a physical channel. Because channel 11 doesn't say 17, it says channel 11. It's so much easier if you just do it all from the routing tab and keep it a one-to-one. -one. If you want channel 11 to be input 17, then make it input 17, go to here, tell it to be input 11, and input 17 it will be like it's supposed to. That is the way I would do it. Um, that's just the, the quickest, and easiest way I can explain how to implement one-to-one -one on here and keep it less confusing because there are a couple different ways to do it. But the big thing, just to recap everything, is go to the user uh, or select user for all your inputs because then you can make them any way you want it to be. Scroll all the way to the right. That'll get you to your user tab. Then you can think of all of this as being the physical channel. And if you know your stage patch, you can go, I want channel two to be input 15. For whatever reason, you put the input for your bottom snare or your top snare on input 15, whatever. Cool. Or you had to run an extra line and that was the first open one that there was and you want to put it there. Cool. Now you can do it from here. You select in number two, and then you tell it whatever you want it to be. Yada, yada, yada. That's the easiest way to implement this. And then things will stay over here the way you want them to be. Um, in this case, I have one through four is drums, and I have bass, guitar, keys, keys. Wherever you put the keys is kind of irrelevant, really. Um, if the keys are patched in on channels 31 and 32 on your stage box, you just tell this one. Well, first of all, you just go to the routing, and then you tell it on 7 and 8 that you want it to be 31 and 32, respectively. So, I hope that helps clear up some confusion, perhaps, about how the one-to-one -one works, and the potential pitfalls that some people may find on how to get things to just flow a little bit more sensibly. But, uh, take care, and we'll talk to you all soon.